Hello, welcome once again to Stuff Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley. That's our good friend Kevin. Kevin, say hello to the people. And today we are playing Elden Ring, and we've got a catacomb. We are in Lyurnia of the Lakes. We butt our heads against Renala, uh, the queen of the full moon. And I decided to do a little bit more exploration. We found a catacomb. We are here, by the way, on this prong of Lyurnia of the Lakes. And let me tell you, and my friends and family will attest to this, I have always said, I love a good catacomb. So let's explore this one today. I'm hoping it might be kind of extensive. I like the little bite-sized catacombs that we've experienced so far in the game, but it's fun to actually have a little puzzle, a little look around. What have we got here? So yeah, this looks like it's gonna be the impy kind of catacomb. A little, uh, I guess they're, they call them cat-headed. I, I don't know. They're imps, but they say that they have cat heads. Oh, there's one right there. Hey, buddy. Meow. Oh, look at him. He's smart. Okay. Come on. Throw your little knives. I know you're going to try to draw me in there. There's going to be ah, several of your brothers <laughs> waiting for me. See, I, I don't know if I'd call that a cat. I hear something moving, grinding. But we have that cat head. We could wear it. Oh, maybe we should. Ah, see, I knew it. I knew it. I know your games. Oh, he's got glintstone. Hello. Ooh. Nice. We can break his posture with one L2, uh, R2. Right. Left. Yes. Okay. Anyway, let's look around. Oh, you know what I should do? Let's make sure we're safe. We're going to go to the old inventory. We're going to go to the old lantern. We're going to equip that. Hey, there we go. We're also going to go to the inventory. We're going to go to equipment and we're going to blend in. Aha. Now they won't know that I'm an enemy. OK, yeah, we're casting lights. We're wearing imp heads. Oh, you know what? Oh, gray violet. See, I need uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, it would be here-ish. I need grave glove wart. Or no, do I need ghost or grave? I need to level up jelly, and I can't remember which kind I need, but I think I need level two of whatever it is. Grave or ghost glove wart. Root resin. Oh, that's good. That's for fire stuff. All right, let's keep going. Love a good catacomb. I am one of you. They're always climbing up the walls. More root resin. Root resin is good, so this will be locked by a contraption. Okay, where are these guys? Watch out for... Okay, I know it's locked by a contraption. Watch out for switches on the floor. We're going to go careful. We're going to go smart. Aha! You miss Kevin. <laughs> I love how they can like barely wield their implements. Bam. No, I can't get a repost on these guys. Okay. So far, so good. Nothing too tricksy. Okay, that's Grave Glove War 2. I think that's what we needed. Hopefully we'll be able to upgrade Jelly after we do this. That would be a nice little feather in the cap of this play session. Okay. Huh. All right, multi-leveled. We're gonna need to get up there eventually, I'm sure. Is that one of those dudes? Yep, that's a dude. Oh. Oh, he's coming. I didn't know if he would come, but he did. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. He's using the height advantage. Right. End it, Kevin. Stop playing with your food. That's what cats do. Okay, there's another one over there. So, I feel like I could jump down to that. 
Would that kill me? I don't think that would kill me. We'll save that. We'll save that for later. Oh, is that a switch? That looks like a switch. Aha! Oh, damn it. They still got me. Love a good catacomb. Give me more glove wart. Ah! Where are you? I can't remember if I can backstab these guys. They are made of stone, so not necessarily likely. I swear I'm hearing heavy breathing. Kevin's got himself. Oh, disappeared. Okay, do we have a we have a fog wall there? That's interesting. Why would we have a fog wall there? Is that? Who's breathing? What is that? What is that thing? What? Oh, is it one of these big trolls? I think it is. Wake up! Ah! Actually, the trolls are what I call the. Oh shit! Got stuck on a freaking pole. Okay, run, Kevin, run. Uh, the trolls are the big giants. These guys are, I think they're called omens. Kind of like Margit, the fell omen. Similar style. Jesus, mother. What the? Come on, man. I wish I had jelly. I want jelly back. <laughs> wow, saw the skirt. Jelly! Where are you going, buddy? There we go. That's what I was fishing for. Oh, shit! These guys are very aggressive. Oh, there's another one? No, no, no. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Why can't I call Jelly? Oh, Lord. Okay, uh... Maybe this would be useful? I'm gonna try it. I got three flasks. That did absolutely nothing. I could probably get frost on him. I don't know if that would be good. I mean, it would probably be good. Would it be good enough? Frost him up, Kevin. We frosted him. He's frosted. I'm gonna switch back to my sword. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch monkey. He's very frosty. I would like to get behind him. I cannot get behind him. Here we go. No, don't pick me up. Don't pick me up. Son of a, he's going to get me. He's going to get me. Run. The cat head's not working. Okay, we have very few things left here. Oh, he's, oh, look at that dodge. Where are you going? Aha! Yes, two freaking omens. Look at that. That was exciting. That was fantastic. Look at these things. Disgusting. Yeah, see, they're omens. They have the horns that got so sawn off of them. I think that's what they're called. And I think that's, it's like Margit, it wasn't just a fancy name for him, Margit, the fell omen. I think that's also, oh, four, three. I think that's also kind of what they are, is an omen. So if somebody's born with a bunch of horns protruding from them in disgusting fashion, they are an omen. Okay, so this is, I need a stone sword key for this. Oh, two of them. You gonna come down here? Son of a... God damn it. Look at this. This is nonsense. I have two freaking flasks. This is a crazy catacomb. How am I gonna get these guys? Can I get any of them targeted? No, 
that easily. Okay, we're going up. Might be a bad idea. Get him quickly, quickly. Okay, watch out. Quickly, quickly. Okay, that was good. A little bit of dodging, a little bit of rolling. <sighs> okay, so let's see if I have any stone sword keys. I don't know if I do. What do these people say? Head ahead. In short, likely armor. Maybe a helmet? Might as well. Ah! What is this? Oh, so he looked he looked longer. Stop doing that. I hate it when you have a notification on screen and then it won't go away. Helmet? <gasps> the Nox Mirror Helm. Ooh. I mean Kevin's enjoying the cat head right now, but let's see what we've got. Nox Mirror Helm. Weight 7.5 is a little bit better. It's worse in almost every way except against magic, holy, focus, and vitality. Helm fashioned from a crystal looking glass. One among the one among the Eternal City's ritual implements. Easily broken and weak against striking attacks. Worn by those committed to high treason, it wards off the interventions of the greater will and its vassal fingers. Interesting. So they're saying treason as opposed to heresy. And you would think the greater will is like the God figure in this world, I guess. And the fingers are sort of it's, uh, I don't know, prophets or priests. Well, I guess the finger readers are kind of the priests. I don't know. But anyway, the fingers are sort of the representatives of the greater will. And then the finger readers prophesy whatever the fingers are supposedly saying, which is supposedly coming from the greater will. So if I want to be counter to the greater will, I would wear this. <laughs> uh, that's a nice pineapple head you've got there, Kevin. But it's apparently very weak. I mean, it looks cool. We'll, we'll go with it while we're in this catacomb. Happy with, happy with that. Um, okay, let's look around. It's interesting, this catacomb has books and such. Ooh, a rune arc, nice. Oh, that was one thing I totally forgot about when we were trying to fight, I better use one. When we were trying to fight uh, Renala, I never used my great rune that I got from Godric. So we might have to look into that eventually. I guess it just raises all your attributes, and I'm assuming it goes away when you die. I know that's isn't that a thing. No, I only got him once. Ah, there's two. Jeez, these guys are creepy. Shifty little buggers. Give me more glove work. Two. Okay, that's good. That's good. Glove War 2. I think we're going to be able to upgrade Jelly. Okay, so far the only place we haven't been able to get to is the lower section that we could jump down to, perhaps. And we've been going up, so I'm thinking we're not going to connect with that. And the, ah, hello. The only way we're going to get down there is through jumping. Oh, look. Okay, this is interesting. So this isn't going to take me where I need to go. I mean, not yet anyway. Shifty. Shifty. Come on, I, I know there's another one over there. Would you come out here, you little creep? Come here. I'm wearing a pineapple head, so you cannot destroy me. Would you get over here? Get your ass over here. Are you going to run out of those knives at any point? Oh, oh fuck's sake. I'm trying not to take damage. Smithing stone three. Where did you come from? I wanted to knock him off the side. Damn it. Okay. I saw another. Oh, there he is. Look at it. Little weirdo. There we go. We got the repost. 
Nice, look at the shards of stone flying off of him. That's really cool. Glove wart two. We're definitely gonna upgrade jelly. If it's the grave glove wart and not the, what was the other thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ghost glove wart. I think it's grave. I think grave is what we needed. So we could jump down onto here, but haven't we already been there? I think we've already been there. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Okay, back away, Kevin. But did he still get me? Son of a bitch. I have one flask. One frickin' flask. What I should do. Uh, yeah, can I cancel out of that? Oh, god damn it. Yeah, whatever. We're using the power. Come here, creep. Okay. Scythe. That's cool. All right, we've kind of hit a dead end here. Let me look at the scythe. I like this. I'm liking this catacomb. Wrong. Scythe. 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 Where is the scythe? Uh, right there. Scythe. You need... Oh, I can do this. It needs 14 dex, 14 strength. We've got that. Dex C scaling, not bad. Large scythe featuring a long slender blade designed to reap. This weapon is capable of rapidly inflicting blood loss while also slipping through an enemy's guard. In the hands of a highly dexterous wielder, it is capable of striking fear into the heart of any foe. Skill, spinning slash. Skill favored by dexterous warriors. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Let's try this. Holding way too many things right now. I'm probably not going to roll too well. Scythe. Nice. Nice. I like that. Okay, it's not upgraded right now, though, so we're not going to use it. But that's cool. We're getting some good weapons lately. Interesting weapons. I don't know if I should keep trying to use this ice rind hatchet. I was annoyed that the deck scaling didn't go up and that I couldn't make it into a keen weapon. I think because it's kind of a, it's a special weapon that uses the sobering smithing stone to level up that you can't, um, you can't put affinities on. It. Oh, God damn it. I thought it would, I guess it's magic, so it just recharges itself. I guess we have to go here. But we've already been here. Isn't there a boss? Ah, oh, Jesus. This is not fair. Freaking dead. Oh, he almost grabbed me. He almost grabbed Kevin. God damn it. I cannot get behind these little creeps. Would you stop it? Stop everything. God, these guys are obnoxious. Fuck's sake. <sighs> All right. Well, we know where our souls are, our runes. We know where we have to go. I guess since we don't have to go through that whole mess, we should have more flasks by the time we get there. Here we go. This is a good catacomb. Love a good catacomb. Did I mention that? Come here, creep. He dodged it. What, I just had my fists? <laughs> Kevin, you're not that much of a badass. 
doofus. Why was I on my flask of cerulean tears? God damn it. I hate these guys. But I love the catacomb. Why didn't I grab that? Oh no, it comes back. Never mind. <laughs> Hello? Can't remember where they were trying to ambush me from. Little critters. I'm back. I don't have my little thingy anymore. Do -ba -do -do. I don't like that you have to re-equip that every time you die. That's kind of annoying. I wish you would just have it equipped, and then if you don't want it equipped, you could unequip it. Weren't there some dudes out here? I swear there were. Okay, maybe not. Dudes? Kevin's here. All right, so can I snipe this guy from up above? Where is he? There he is, there he is, there he is. This is good, this is very good. We can do this. We'll poison him. He's a rotting husk of a beast. It's only right that he should be poisoned. Okay, I think he's poisoned. 160, 168, that's fantastic. Now we just need to wait. Let's see, are there any other of these dudes around here? He might be the only one. This is fantastic. Kevin, you've done your work. Just rest for a while. Oh, poison ran out. All right, let's try it again. Where is he? Yeah. 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 Okay, we got him. All right, this is gonna work. Just be patient. Don't jump down there yet, Kevin. He's almost dead. There's a lot of hit points. Just a little longer. We'll get him this time, Kevin. How many arrows do we have? Uh, we have 19 poison arrows left. That's not fantastic. Oop. Come on. We're very close. Come on. Hello. I have killed you. You don't know it yet, but you're dead. These guys remind me of the weird, what were they called? Were they the barbarians in Blight Town? The big dudes in Blight Town in Dark Souls 1? Very similar. They threw dung pies at you. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. All right, we got our runes. Got some ghost, gl gl ah, ghost glove wart. Oh wow, okay, this is more extensive than I thought down here. So, we came in from thence. I hear something scrabbling around in here too. Okay, we'll go to the, we'll go along the right hand wall first. Gonna get sneaky. Hefty beef beast bones. Oh, got more grave glove wart. Oh no. God damn it. I hate these things. Go away. You can't see me. Can he see me? He can see me. Okay. Maybe he can't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try to sneak up behind him. Your friend is dead. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. 
Yoink. I can't hide. Ah! This is a very narrow place to be fighting these assholes. His little kick that he does, too, is ridiculous. Oh, for God's sake. The wind-up on that is ridiculous. Okay. Let's do some ring around the roses here. Okay, this is not going to be easy in here. I hate the kick, and I had my shield up, you son of a bitch. There it is. Oh, got it. Well, we got one of them. He's going for it. He's going for it. Yes. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Oh, my lord above. We have killed four of these stupid beasts. Okay. We had our work cut out for us in this episode. I used to think Kevin was OP. I do not think that anymore. I don't think we're going to solve this catacomb down here. What are we missing? Ooh, prattling pate. Wonderful. That's our good, our, 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 uh, our thing. Where were these? Uh, there it is. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, Kevin, you are. You are wonderful. Oh, wait. Okay, there's more. All right, so we've explored everything in here. Oh, no. Okay. Hopefully there will be a mechanism that we find in here to open that door. Otherwise, I don't know what the hell we're doing. Trying to look at the ceilings and everything, because these little guys are going to be crawling all over the place. Grave Glove War 2. That's good. Are you freaking kidding me? This is insanity. Why are there so goddamn many of these guys? And why can't I call Jelly in here? It doesn't make any sense. There he is. Okay, I still have some poison arrows. If this guy turns around and starts walking in the other direction, hopefully I'll have enough time to shoot enough arrows to actually poison him, and then we should be able to take him out. Why is he just standing there? I'm not here. Oh, he's already injured. Why is that? That's interesting. No, he's so... How could you do that? That's just ridiculous. Ugh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't want to be walking back to where we don't even know where if, if there are enemies there. Frick, I have my freaking shield up. And I had the stamina. Jeez, he turns around so fast. For somebody as sloppy fat as he is, that's ridiculous. Oh, for... These guys are insane. Oh, my lord above. of them where will there be in here I can't take much more I could have done this should have done that I heard a large echoing noise be wary of good luck what the hell does that mean Hello. I'm Kevin. All right. 
Gonna crimson tier it. We've only got three flasks. It is insane. The gauntlet that they've thrown at us in this catacomb. As much as I love catacombs, this one has been a little rough. I hear another one of these mother friggers. Oh, for God's sake. Are you kidding me? Why are there so many of them? Ah, Jesus Christ. I hear another one. Thought I heard another one. Okay, maybe not. Old Fang. Is that something that we craft with? Yes, okay, we've had old things. All right, I'm gonna flip the switch now because I don't wanna be killed. And that way we can open the door and we can run to the boss, I'm assuming. Okay. Somewhere a heavy door has opened, but what? what is that noise? It sounds like a bad noise. Can't target this guy yet. Oh, fix it. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Stop dodging. It's not fair. You're too big for that. Okay, he's poisoned. Eat it, you son of a bitch. Kind of stagger him a little bit. When you do that. Ah, not that time. He turns around on a freaking dime. It's ridiculous. We just stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. He's trying to grab. This is insane. Oh, Lord above. Hi. <sighs> the omens. There better be something good on this frickin' altar. Altar. Page ashes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Where are my ashes? Went the wrong way, didn't I? Ashes of war. Where are my ashes of war? There they are. Okay. Uh, page, 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 page. That's the page. That is FP cost of 81. Ash and remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of a page. Spirits of a pa spirit of a page who traveled at the side of the noble he served uses a piercing sword and crossbow to defend his master. One becomes a page merely by accident of being born into obscurity. Nothing is asked of ability, talent, or, vol or, or volition. All right. So that's 81, 28 for those guys, 11 for that, 44. 44 for the skeletal militia, 55 for lone wolf, 31 for jelly. So that's pretty high FP cost. Marionette soldiers, I haven't tried using them. Oh man, I'm starting to get the hiccups and I can't use either of these. I don't know if I ever have 81 FP. I'm not sure about that. We'll look into those. Right now we're kind of married to Jelly. All right, but we have opened the damn thing. Let's go out or in to the door that we have opened. I mean, I'm gonna just rest, I guess, because obviously we have almost no flasks. There's our door. I'm assuming a boss is in there. Let's go rest. This is good, this is good. We're pretty much at the end of the episode now. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna have to kill a couple more of these creeps. That's fine. We will reconvene at the door that we've just opened. All right, gang. We have full flasks, full health. I couldn't level up yet, which is a little worrying because if we go into a boss room and I'm not able to get my souls back, that would be irritating. All right, let's use some stuff. We're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. We're hopefully gonna be able to summon jelly when we get in there, but I don't know. They haven't let me do it the entire time. Oh, we can. Jelly, it's another one of these watchdogs. Get it, Jelly, get it. 
It's got three heads. Three heads are better than one. Shit. Well, that did not do much damage. Get him, Jelly. Okay, we're doing damage. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Get him, get him, Jelly. Ah, I knew I should have stopped before I did that last one. Nice, Kevin. You're doing it. Whoa. I thought he was facing the opposite direction. Get him, Jelly. He's got fire. He's got fire. Ah, yeah, yeah. Son of a bastard. Get him, Jelly. Whoa, Jelly. Get him. Get him, Jelly. I don't think this fire does anything. He's not going for Jelly. He's gone. He's gone. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a little cocksure. A little cocksure. Ah! Kind of cocksure. There he's gone. He's gone. Jelly! It's good to have you back again, baby. We got the Cadence Cell Sword Ashes, and we are going to celebrate. That was well earned. Look at him. Look at him. He's an amazing shining beacon of beauty. And we've got some cool ashes. Let's check him out. Let's go this way. Caden's Cell Sword. Oh, it's one of those guys. Yeah. Uh, spirit of mercenary belonging to a horse riding folk. Skillfully uses a massive blade made for dismounting other riders and enhances his already considerable strength with war cries. The Cell Sword of Caden made their prowess known on countless battlefields. 88 FP. Okay, we may have to put some points into FP at some point. Gang, that was fantastic. That was a catacomb. That was an excellent catacomb. And in the next episode, we will continue our investigations of Lyurnia of the Lakes. Maybe we'll uh, level up Jelly, because I think Jelly deserves it as well. But until next time, tell me again. I'll see you later. Good job, Kevin.